All right, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We're back for another edition of Eagle Talk. And as you can see, we've changed the uh, roles here a little bit. Um, I'm Mr. Sasowski, and I have my two guests. Paige. Skyler. And Paige and Skyler, who usually are in these seats running this equipment, is now my responsibility. So as you can see, uh, we hope we got off to a good start. Well, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. What have you guys been up to? This morning? Well, sure, in the last this couple days. Not a whole lot more since the last time we talked. I bet you've been at home at night studying. You got exams. Last yeah. day coming up next week, huh? Next week. Yep. What's that going to be like? Fantastic. Oh, come on. <laughs> Sweet feeling of relief. You think yeah. so? Yeah. It'll be bittersweet for sure. Yeah. But yeah. I'm excited. For maybe a day or two? Yeah. And then what? Yeah. And then summer. Because yeah. <laughs> it already feels so much like summer, so... Yeah, let's be honest, since spring break, I mean, we had that week where it was like winter time. Yeah. But after that, it's been decent weather. I Weather's mean, you been guys. Great this week. Yeah, I noticed the kids outside right now. You, like, when you go outside of the school, even during the day, it's there's a lot of people out on the campus, which yep. I think it's a good thing. Mm -hmm. For sure. Yesterday, I walked out, Mr. Cox had a science class outside. <laughs> they were doing science outside in the sunshine. He has a. Uh... Outdoor adventure science. Yep, that's what it was. Yeah. yeah, they were they were doing some different things. It was it was interesting. I sat down at the picnic table. It was, it was pretty neat. Yeah. It was pretty neat. The kids seemed to really enjoy being out there. I think it helps honestly. Like for my forensics class, Mrs. Roos took us outside like a month ago. Oh, okay. Like, the day when it was super nice, or it was SAT a couple of days after SAT because our schedule was flipped. Yeah, she took us outside and we all just hung out. It was good. Great, right? So the last time we talked. Well, one of the things last time we talked was crumble cookie, and we shouldn't give free ads because that's not right. <laughs> now, if crumble no, wants to help free, sponsor us, ads. then hey. But hey, no, but we talked crumble cookie, and I got to be honest with you. I hadn't had one since then. Remember, I think okay. we talked, whatever yeah. was coming out. Well, Jam we had some week. at, yes, yeah. we, we did. Uh, I think my, we, my wife brought maybe six of them home in one of the, the containers. There's a couple really good. Yeah, I got to be honest. I'm not one of them fancy ones. Like they had the raspberry and the lemon. I like the, I don't know, it's called grandma's or yeah, mom's. Mom's recipe. Oh, it's, like buddy. A, it's an oatmeal chocolate chip cookie. I couldn't get enough of that one. <laughs> yeah. And then I hear they DoorDash. Do you guys what? use DoorDash? Yeah. Dude, there will be nights where I'm closing and it's like literally like 9.58. We close at 10 and we'll mm -hmm. get a DoorDash order and I'll just want to kill somebody. Because <laughs> I'm like I'm busy cleaning stuff up, getting ready for the morning, and I'm just like, oh my gosh! But so, yeah, we get DoorDashes like all throughout the day. Really? So and do you guys have thing. you guys used? Door, I mean, do you guys use DoorDash? Do kids around here use it? I've used DoorDash one time prior to getting my driver's license. And I was home alone. And I was very hungry. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah. Have you used it, Paige? Yeah, we have before I got my license, but since not really. No, I, I've never used it. Really? No, no, I wouldn't even know where to begin. You know, yeah. of course, you see everybody using it, and really simple. Yeah, yeah, but I, I mean, I, I uh, we were talking last night about it, or the other night, and uh, yeah, crumble cookie door dashes. I'm like, what? Yeah, we <laughs> get one cookie um, delivered. <laughs> yeah, you'd be surprised. Really? Uh, just door dashes of one singular cookie, which is just wild yeah. to me. Yeah, they must really like that crumble cookie. Yeah. Because you're paying like 20 bucks then for like the delivery fee tip. You're paying for four cookies and only getting one. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We get a lot of DoorDash just out today, though. That's interesting. Like we have special DoorDash stickers like on the box. Really? DoorDash, yeah. That's interesting. So, kind of what, one of the questions I wanted to ask you guys uh, is as far as. Uh, what the summertime, you know, you guys are done next week. Well, you have exams, what, Thursday, Friday yep. of next week. Then what are you doing? What's the big plans for the summer? Hopefully a lot of hanging out with friends, going out on the lake, jet skis, yeah. playing basketball. Yeah, I'm starting a job at the golf course, so hopefully be there a lot. What golf course? Tyrone. No free ads. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Tyrone Hills. All right, what are you doing out there? Of car service. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. That'll be fun. Yeah. That's a busy golf yeah, course cool. over there. Yeah. There's a lot of leagues. Yeah. yeah. I'm excited. Skylar said he's probably going to be there a lot. So <laughs> yeah. You golf out there no a lot? Free drinks. I, yeah, I golf a lot. Do you? I got, are you in leagues out there? No. Are you a golfer, Paige? <laughs> yeah. Are you? Golf. Yeah. All right. I didn't know that. Went out for the first time last week. Did you? To the range. That's it. Just to the range? I got you. So you're, are you working at all this summer? Or are you just hanging out? 
I'm going to I'm going to continue to work. That's right. At the, because, at the cookie place. Yeah, I want my golden spatula pen. Well, what's Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> like, Tell us about the golden spatula so, pen. This is becoming a commercial for Crumble. You realize that. It no, wasn't supposed to. This is just the no. work stuff. So, so what, tell us about the golden spatula. When you master everything. So I couldn't. I can't use the mixer. So when I turn eighteen, I'll be able to use the mixer. And oh. then, so yeah. So as of today, <laughs> as of today. Skyler can use the mixer. So happy up. birthday to Skyler, big happy one birthday. eight. Thank you. Yep. Yep. So I, I will learn how to use the mixer, and then once I master that, I'll basically have mastered everything in the store. And my my boss will have a crumble like official come in and examine me on everything. And if, I, <laughs> and if I pass, I get my golden spatula. Pen. Do, do, do you study for it? I mean, is it? You or is, take, it's all hands on. Three hour course. What? Wow. I have every pen except that one. That's quality control there. Good for yeah. crumb. Good for you. Congratulations. Good luck on that. Yeah. yeah good luck on that. I want it. So it, it, are all your friends, I mean, the groups you guys hang out with, do they all have summer jobs? Is that a thing now for students? I'd say to, most of us. Yeah? Yeah. We're around the area or where, where most of your buddies work at? A lot of them work at Crumble. Yeah. Marin and Liv work at Crumble. Yeah. A lot. Um, I know people that work at golf courses. I know people that work mm-hmm. at like, family farm and home. Mm. I think Stage there's a product, lot of, like, yeah, like oh, restaurants. It's widespread. Yeah, yeah. good. That's good to hear. But I would say a lot of us have jobs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So then after the summer, what's the plans? Michigan State. Michigan Mm -hmm. State. What are you going to do at Michigan State? Either pharmaceutical business Mm. or optometry. Uh, You know, Mrs. Peak. Remember Mrs. Peak? She's at the middle school now. Did you guys ever have her? Her son just uh, graduated from from Ferris. Yeah. His doctorate in pharmaceutical. Yep. Uh, Being being a pharmacist. That's pretty cool. An old London alumni. And I know you had Colin Maker here last week. Was it last week? Talking about, you know, things that he had done. Mm-hmm. And then I know um, Mrs. St. Clair's daughter, former alumni, is com- or an alumni coming in. Yep. Um, so you're going to Michigan State. What about you, Paige? What's your plans? Well, I'm going to finish out at Mott, finish out my credits, and then go to U of M Flint. Uh, what are you looking to get into? Elementary education. Oh, good for you. I'd love to hear that. <laughs> yeah, that's that, no, that's great. And I know uh, uh, U of M Flint's really doing a lot right now yeah i checked out their program and i've talked to some people already that go there and there's like a whole side of the building like just for elementary education yes yes they're they've actually partnered with the genesee county uh genesee county schools and and doing some different uh programming Mm -hmm. uh to help get people involved and and get them through their programming so that'll be fantastic yeah Uh, yeah, we always have openings here (laughs) 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 maybe so so let's talk about Linden for a minute. You guys have, have you guys both been in, in, in Linden Community Schools since kindergarten or? I have. I have not. I moved here in sixth grade. Sixth grade. You've been here since kindergarten. So what, 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 if you had to go, okay, because really you guys are, I mean, that close to being alumni, right? What do you tell the younger students? What do you tell the high school students or the ninth grade, 10th graders? What are you telling them right now? Don't stress. I'm sorry? Don't have unnecessary stress. I can move closer. No, you're good. Uh, yeah, don't have unnecessary stress. It, what but, do you mean by that? Don't worry about things that you don't need to worry about. Like, there's things that you can control, and of course, worry about those, but there's also things that you can't. Yeah. Good advice. Yeah. Paige, what do you have? Um, Kind of along with that, but like, education's good, but it's not your identity. Mm. So, yeah. like, have fun with it at the same mm-hmm. time. Don't make it like your personality. Yeah. So what 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 do you, what was probably your let's let's start at elementary. What do you remember about elementary? What was kind of the favorite thing that you guys remembered about element your elementary times? Well, we went to two different elementaries, obviously, because I yeah. went to Flushing. Yeah. So something I don't think Lyndon did that, but we had like it was called Kangaroo Kids and it was like the jump rope for heart. Do you remember? Do you know what that Yeah, was? we I, I don't know. I that's think it was thing. before. I know before COVID. I don't think we've done it since COVID. But we had the the jump rope for heart. Yeah, I remember so, Hyatt going down there. Yeah. So <laughs> we had like a team that you had to try out for in elementary school, where you were like a jump rope, jump rope kid. But like we fundraised money for jump rope for heart. And really? Like we'd go to different school. It was like this whole thing. I remember this. That's cool. Yeah. I'd say field day. 
Really? I really liked Field yeah. Day. Yeah. They, they call it Sword Day now. Sword Day? Yeah. You know, kind of okay. go with yeah, that, yeah, that yeah, positivity yeah. in some of the programming we've done. But same thing. And they, they're really pushing it this year. The pals groups are really getting involved. So I think the kids are going to remember that. What about middle school? What about middle school? You guys were at the new middle school, obviously. Yeah, I think I just made a lot of new friends in middle school. Yeah. So I can thank middle school for that. I think I just had fun in middle school. Did you? Good. Paige, you came to Linden, sixth grade. Obviously, you met a lot of new people, too. I did. I feel like I learned a lot, like, about, like, what friends I want. I don't know. You're still so young, but I, did, I feel like it was like, I don't know, it's like a learning experience. Parents? Yeah. So what about big LHS? What are you, what, what, what's your, your, your favorite memories here at Linden High School? Hmm. This one's hard because it's the most recent. <laughs> <laughs> and half of it. I would say my senior year because it's been the most laid back. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, you bring up a good point, Skylar. I forgot about that. You guys spent two years, almost at least a good year, at home. you know, at home. You guys recovered well, though. Yeah. I got to yeah. be honest with you. You did. Yeah, real real happy the way you guys recovered. But so in, in regards to the high school, you know, I know you guys got your friends. I see you guys out. You got prom coming up. You know, um, you, you think you'll keep in contact with your, you know, your social circles here, your your, your friends? As you move on, you know, I, high school or colleges, universities, work? I think I'll definitely keep in touch with a select few. Obviously, there's my roommates that I'll be living <laughs> with. And then I have one really, really close friend that I've been best friends with since, like, kindergarten. Oh, okay. So I'm definitely going to stay in touch with him. Yeah. And then I have a couple other friends that I'm going to stay in touch with. But Good. Who knows? Paige? Yeah, I think I will. I mean, it'll be hard because we're all going different places. But definitely just into each other and stay in touch good yeah yeah keep in touch with everyone i mean it's just fun to listen to their experiences and mm -hmm. things what's what's the one thing you want to change about linden high school <laughs> not to say it's going to happen but <laughs> i mean i wish we could experience all the new things that are yeah changing. right <laughs> i want me to be a junior this year so i understand <laughs> i can see all the new changes yeah they were just finishing up the painting of the floor at the multi-purpose building so we're, I think we're looking to open that up a little bit next week. We're still missing some of the like safety nets and stuff, so we can't go full bore. But uh, you know, get people in so there. So what's using all in it. there right now? I saw a video of the wrestling room. Yeah, we got the wrestling room, the fitness center, but just the equipment's not in yet. That's okay. a little back ordered right now. So you know that'll be here eventually. Yeah. But we've got the gymnasium area. Uh, like basketball hoops and everything. Oh yeah. Nice. Oh yeah. Basketball. The, the, in fact, the, the lines they painted yesterday uh, were pickleball. Nice. So we've got six pickleball courts that can be used. Um, it, we've got uh, the portable turf. So, like, okay. you know, during certain time periods, like, say, your baseball team wants to come in in December, no problem. We can throw the turf down. we got drop-down batting cages. we wow. got the gymnastics center. Um, and so they'll actually start moving the gymnastics center at the end of the month, okay. uh, moving that over from Hyatt. And then, uh, you know, we got the walking track up front. we got, like – we actually have two classrooms. They're team rooms, classrooms, but you can have team meetings, meetings, maybe, you know, uh, we, we anticipate some people wanting like birthday parties for their children in there. You know, really? you can bring blow ups oh, in, really cool. put them in there, have a, have a nice little birthday party or, or get together, things like that. And locker rooms stuff. So, you know, it's going to be exciting. We get it up. It'll be usable for everybody. All, nice. all of our, all of our students, our staff, you know, we're looking for some good things. Alumni. Yeah, yeah, alumni too, community <laughs> members too. Sweet. Yeah, yeah, alumni too. So changing stuff, you know, we 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 talked a little bit about that. What what what's one thing you wish you would have done in school? School as a whole, or just high school? Let's let's start with school as a whole. Okay. Definitely worry about my grades. In middle school, less. W worry less? Yeah. What, what, what do you mean? You mean you were like, I've got to get all great grades like and tried. you didn't. Like, I had fun in middle school, but I I studied more in middle school than I did this year. For sure. <laughs> I got It's you. not close. Maybe even freshman and sophomore year, too. <laughs> everything just came to me a lot easier in high school. Like, I didn't. 
need to put in as much effort. Okay. But middle school, I tried really hard for everything. Um, like academic wise. Anything. I wish I would just like be friends with like I still am friends with everyone, but like people who seem like I wish I could be friends with like everyone. Oh, okay. You know? Yeah. Like, There's only so many hours in the day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's cool. That's cool. So you, as far as kind of uh, summertime, school, you know, and all that, you, are you guys, uh, do, you, do you wish, are, are, are you, do, do you wish school was kind of all year? No? no? You don't want to go to school in the summertime? No. It's just a question I ask people. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I see other schools doing it in like, like my brother in dental school, he gets like two weeks off now. Like two weeks off for the Fourth of July, and then two weeks off in August. And I wouldn't like that. Like, I just want one big log and break, and then go back. <laughs> yeah, I need. I feel like I need summer break. <laughs> two weeks just go by so fast that I feel like I try to like get everything done that I can't during school, and then I need a break from <laughs> that <Yeah>. break. <laughs> so, what do you think of your teachers you had over your your time? I think the teachers here are phenomenal. Yeah. yeah. I would agree. I mean, I'm a little biased. I get that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you did hire them. <laughs> but I think our teaching staff is phenomenal. It's nice to hear from the students, though, because you guys are with them every day. You're in the trenches with I them. I think you could have the most rigorous, brutal class ever and have a good teacher and make it amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I feel like every happens. teacher, yeah. Every teacher is willing to help mm -hmm. if you ask, at least. Well, it's interesting how you guys said, you know, and I think it, a lot of it, meshes you know you mentioned middle school I, I wanted to get good grades and then it just came so much easier you know sometimes uh you know to your point Scott, a lot of it is the teacher i agree you know they make it fun they make it exciting you want to be there mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. with uh okay mr schneider quick shout out <laughs> if i didn't have him for honors british literature would have been the worst class ever but it's my favorite class i took really that's awesome what was your favorite class? I don't know. I only probably like this class. With, with the productions and yeah. stuff? It's been fun. I feel like I've learned a lot. Yeah, good. Yeah, I definitely know how to use a Mac better than I did prior to taking this class. I still don't know how Miss Sinclair can work Premiere. And she's like, oh, you need this button, which goes to this, and then this. And Scott and I are like. <laughs> yeah, she's she's pretty good at it. No one would. Yeah. Yeah. She walks away and we're like, I don't know. <laughs> no, it's it's funny how this class has developed. Uh, Miss St. Clair has just kind of run the whole thing. I mean, she she's a go-getter. Yeah. But when you think about what you guys have learned, you know, in every even podcasting. I mean, it's funny. You talk to, oh, hey, what radio station? People don't listen to radio stations anymore. You know, the podcast to get their news or the, you know, the YouTube, the quick hitters, the who, you know, the TV yep. stations and all that kind of stuff. Um, so it's definitely changing. Hopefully you guys are on the front end of that, you know, and your experiences here will help you, you know, moving on. Yep. Uh, next thing I want to talk about prom. So we got prom coming up this weekend. What, yep. uh, I don't know if this will this launch before the weekend. Unless we get it done. Unless we get it done. Oh, I got you. Today. Okay. Don't want to pump prom too much if they're not going to know about it. But so we got prom this weekend. What's the theme? <laughs> I, don't know. I think Great Gatsby. Yes. Yes. Good call on that. <laughs> good job. Yeah. That was a good. I never I read the book, but it was long ago. It was a good movie, though. Yeah. I like the movie. A couple of different movies. I like the Rod. I've seen the Robert Redford. I like the newer one. The newer one was that uh, DiCaprio, uh, yeah, right? Yeah. Leonardo DiCaprio. Tony that was good Blair. too. Yeah. 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 So we got prom coming up. Where's it at? Genesis. Genesis. Yeah. What time are we starting on Friday or Saturday? The it opens at six. I have no idea. Five. Five. It does. Okay, I took a screenshot. Yeah. but I couldn't remember. Five. Yeah. Well, at least that's what time we got to be there to park cars. <laughs> so I figured it's the time people start arriving. I got no clue. I do what I'm told. <laughs> I told Maddie I should have gotten her a ticket. No, no, we're yes. not going there. <laughs> so we got prom at Genesis, and uh, that, that should be a good night. I've heard they sold a lot of tickets, um, so that'll be great for your, yep. you and your classmates. Um, and prom's always a good time. You know, it's it's yeah. always a good time. Yeah, they go all out for it. 
Yeah, they do. They do. I I think who's uh, Miss Durant, Miss uh, Miss Schaus. Yeah. yeah. Michelle's doing it, I think. So. I think Michelle's, yeah, and and all they do, they've done it before. It's mm-hmm. they do a fantastic job. Yeah. You think Mr. Dreski is going to come in a tuxedo? Did he I last year? Highly doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> no, he didn't last year. <laughs> no, nah. maybe we need to we need to press him a little bit. We tried to get, get him to come on the show. Get him. Be, he wouldn't. Well, he would. He we would. just couldn't think of any like topics. Yeah, as long as there's a good topic. No, that's good. That's good. So what else you guys have going on? Um, well, there's prom this weekend. Yep, prom this weekend. Um, Wednesday is our last day. Yep, and then, and then graduation. graduation. Yep, you get about a, what, a week off of kind of no school activities, right? Is that about it? And then, yeah. Like a week or two. Because graduation. Too. No, I think. It's two. two. Maybe a little over. Yeah, yeah cuz June 3rd is graduation, graduation Saturday. You guys are going outside again. Okay. We right? Have to, we have to rehearse, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah, the day before. Day prior. Yeah, yeah, that Friday. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then um so that the outside graduation. Have you guys been to one yet? Okay. Yeah, yeah those are I don't know, you know, it's it's one of the benefits I think coming out of COVID that you know has impacted Linden. That's it's just so what an atmosphere. Yeah, you know, um, even with the sun and knock on wood, we haven't had any crazy weather, you know. But I'm happy for it to be outside. Yeah, I just remember being at my brother's and that was in the gym and it was very hot. Yeah, well, we got air now. So, <laughs> oh, we, okay, yeah, cool. we did get air sense <laughs> in, right, so in the be, gymnasium. Won't be as bad. <laughs> won't be as bad. But going outside, I don't know. It's just a different atmosphere. Yeah. Um, man, the way it's uh, gone the last few years, it's really been special for those students. You know, walking across the stage like that. So, looking forward to that this yeah, year. Yeah, that'll be cool. And there's, we're not limited on tickets, Mm-mm. right? Oh, really? In the gym, wasn't there like, so, no, there's no limit. Oh, well, no, we Fenton packed. Does that, we so. packed them in. Just gotta <laughs> remember. Yeah. No, we would. We'd get thirteen, fourteen hundred. I probably shouldn't say it too loud. I'm sure we have uh, fire code issues there, but no, we would. <laughs> How we many would, people? We oh 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 at least. Wow. Yeah, for graduation. Yeah, we I, would get people. I, I remember talking with my brother about really? how I think there was more at his high school graduation than at his college. Really? Like, yeah. Like, more, like, family members. Yeah. in the stands. I was like, wow, like, there isn't as many people as I thought there would be. Yeah, well, it's a great accomplishment. I mean, to make it through, really, 13 years of school. 13 years of school. You know, at your college, and, I mean, no offense, it's four. We all did it. Maybe you're, you know, going on to a specialty school or, or something yeah. like that, maybe five or six years. Uh, but, man, 13 years, you guys have been, you know, pushing the limits and stretching yourselves and taking risks, and boom, here we are. 6.30 yeah. every day. Yeah. <laughs> and this is all we know is this routine. Mm-hmm. This schedule, so. yeah. That changes overnight. No, you guys have you guys earned it. You, you deserve it all. You guys have been a great class. You know, I mean, you guys, you know, as I've gotten to know you over the years and then, you know, the rest of your student, your student body here, you guys, you guys have something special with that class. It's a good class. Our class is very smart. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I would admit. <laughs> yeah. I would admit. No, you guys have done well. You've done well. What else? I don't have any other questions. You're the one asking questions. I know, right? Yeah, now you're, you're putting the pressure <laughs> on me. You're putting the pressure. No, I, I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about, you know, your experiences in Linden. I thought yeah. that was important. Get it out. People people hear it. Because I think when it, it comes from the students, you know, again, I'm biased. Yeah. You know, I think this place is great. Um, you know, but when you hear it from the students, uh, it, it means more. Our, our staff hears it from you guys. You know, um, it, it means a lot. You know, they're going to listen to this and they're, you know, believe me, it's going to hit them. It's going to hit them. It means a lot when they hear from the students. Yeah. yeah. No, you guys have done a great job here. Really proud of all of you. Thank you. Really, Thank you. really am. And then Appreciate just that. little things like this that you guys come up with. I mean, that's that's what makes it even that yeah, much more special. Fill the podcast shoes when I know. You better get somebody involved. The St. Clair wants us to come back next year for and do the it. Podcast. Yeah. yeah, and like join it, right? Like for one or something. Yeah, just like yeah. do a podcast. Oh, yeah. I'd come, come back for one. Yeah, update. I would, like, but Christmas, I don't know. like on Christmas break or yeah. whenever we come home or I come home and then. Yeah. Tell us what you're doing, what you've been up to. I feel like people might judge us, like, <laughs> take a break from the high school. Well, because, you know, there's always, like, those people that, like, come back every year. Oh, they do. Yeah. Yeah, they do. <laughs> now, come back and visit. No, because, again, we, we, we like to hear from you guys. We like to know, you know, the cool things you guys are yeah. doing. I want to come back and see the school. Life. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, the high school, 
Let's By next fall, it'll be different. It'll be different with that uh, the north end there. Everybody's the class wing. looks so empty. They're all cleaning. They're all cleaning rooms. up. Yeah, yeah. I got to get it ready because literally, you guys are done on June second, and the moving company's coming in. Uh, they'll they'll actually be here Saturday or uh, Monday, the fifth. Wow. Moving everything out. Everything. Wow. Yep. Yep. And so that's what we did on Lynn and L last year. It worked really well. You know, obviously this is more, you know, yeah. just more numbers wise. So we'll, well, uh, Mr. Vadez, he's got a good plan with Mr. Dretzky. And so I think it's going to go really well. And they'll be starting oh, Tuesday. They'll get everything moved on Monday and construction wow. will start on Tuesday. That's awesome. Yeah. So maybe we have to come back. Yeah. Yeah. You'll be able to come back <laughs> anytime. Come I'm back. sure I'll be at the multi-purpose center oh, for yeah. this summer. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, we're looking at a big grand opening. Oh, okay. You know, we'll do a grand. We'll we'll open it now, um, just to get people in there because we can. Yeah. You know, we've got occupancy and stuff, but we'll do the big. We're looking at the big grand opening, probably uh, first or second week of August. Okay. Yeah, because that way we anticipate all of our equipment being in, yep. um, all the safety. You know, the netting up, and then, um, you know, we didn't want to do it June, July. People are on vacation. We want yeah. to do it when people are coming. Most most of our community will start coming back, back. in August. So, you know, we'll, we'll be able to really have a big hoorah there. And that'll, that'll be fun to launch that off along with what's going on here now. And, yep. you know, Central getting that building up to date is right around the corner. So a lot of good things happening. And you guys are a huge part right of that. Direction. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. So, well, on behalf of Lyndon, thank you guys. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. You guys, uh, you guys did a lot of good things. You know, hashtag Eagle Pride, you know, yeah. when I think of you guys walking across the stage, that's what I think about. So, no, real happy for you guys. I wish you the thank best you. of luck. Um, good things are going to happen for you. And so, and so with that, I'll leave it up to you guys to All right. put the One ending. One of our last podcasts. If not the last. Yeah. So. All right. As, As always, always have go. A great, oh. <laughs> come on, Paige. <laughs> Paige. Wait, what are you? Have a great day. day and go. Yeah. Okay. And as, and as always, always, have a great, great day, day and go. Go Eagles. Eagles.